Welcome to another KSP video. So if you've been following my last couple of videos, you'll know that we've built reusable first and second stage rockets. The problem we currently have is that it's all a manual landing, so the landings are a bit rough. Also, we just kind of deorbit them and don't really plan our deorbit burns, so we don't know where they're going to land. And the problem with that is they land on uneven terrain and eventually they fall over once they land. So when one of my subscribers made me aware that there's a mod that gives you autonomous booster landing, of course I was interested. If we can recover these boosters cleanly and consistently every time, I'll be very happy. So what you're seeing here is our first low altitude test flight, where we return a first stage from sort of 10 to 12 kilometers. As you can see, it comes down just fine, and it even hovers for a little bit and then makes a soft landing on a pad which is great so let's see what we can do from orbit although the mod does have an option for auto deorbit the way my craft re-enter is a little bit weird and dynamic so we're doing manual deorbit burns and i've selected the kerbal space center as our re-entry target But once the vehicle's gone through the atmosphere, everything else is completely autonomous. So you can see here our yellow marker is the target and the red is sort of where the booster is actually planning to land. Of course, while we were figuring out the procedure for getting this to work consistently, to make an omelette you've got to break a few eggs. So here's a montage of some eggs breaking. We did eventually figure out a consistent procedure for getting these boosters home autonomously, so here are the best autonomous landings. There is still the option of a semi-manual override, so if for some reason the landing is off course over rough terrain, the landing burn can still be triggered by myself and the vehicle will auto land in place on the terrain it's over. Of course if the terrain is rough it might still topple after landing. 
The autonomous landing functionality also extends to the capsule, so the second stage capsule, and you can see here an example of that coming home to the Kerbal Space Center. And our second stage space station also has this capability and here it is coming home. The second stage can also be overridden for a landing on rough terrain. As we watch this last entertaining clip, thank you everybody for watching and I'll see you soon for more KSP videos.